He's now served 36 years in prison for a crime we believe he did not commit. There is an absolute formula to frame innocent people and these 10 things on most of them come up time and time again. Um, what we should remember is that when Julie first went to the police, she didn't say Jeremy had done this. She actually said, well, Jeremy had hired a hitman to do mm. this. So when the police found that he had this cast iron alibi, they didn't go back to Julie and say, you know, sorry, Julie, this is not quite working out in the way you say. In effect, they said, well, OK, well, not to worry, have another go. The fact that the initial assumption was that it was a murder-suicide. And one of the results of that is they, they just didn't do a lot of these tests. For instance, the police surgeon didn't take the body temperatures. Now, if he'd done that, it would have shown that Sheila died four or five hours after the, other, after the others had. And that would have been the end of the story. People's misconceptions of him are, oh, you know, he was arrogant and a womanizer and all this. It's just, that's just the media. We've got to make we've got to make our voice heard. We've got to make Jeremy's voice heard, and we've got to let th the world know that this is an innocent man who's 36 years of a stolen life who still hasn't had the opportunity to grieve for his family, because from day one they knew Jeremy was innocent. And from 3:26, when Neville rang the police, they've known that Jeremy was innocent. So you know, 36 years down the line, they still know Jeremy is innocent. And they should ask themselves, you know, why Essex police are going to such extraordinary lengths after all this time to still not release this material. People don't act in that way for, except for a very good reason.